right Sarah here with a process video for you today this one is for UK scrap addicts creative team and this month we are focusing on fussy cutting which you'll see a bit later on in the video I will talk about that a bit later on so to begin with you can see just off to the side there I have got an art journal that was just so I could test out these colors I've not really used these watercolors that much uh, my little boys use them more and uh, mixed all the colors up but they came up all right <laughs> eventually. Um, all I'm doing here is just adding little um, bits of each colour dotted around and then I'm just stopping it from running there with the tissue as well. I just want to build up a few different colours. I'm going to eventually sort of blend them together a little bit but at first I just want to lay down um, pinks through peaches through into yellowy colours and as you can see there I have got a pattern paper to one side which is the um, paper I'm trying to match my mixed media up to. Um, the Mostly the products I'm using today are from Thompson's Craft Supplies and I will link below the shop. This is a kit that's no longer available, it's from January, but there are um, other kits available still in that shop and any other products as I go along that I spot I will um, add them in the description below for you as well. So next up now that is almost dry, I'm just adding a few splashes of Lindy's Stamp Gang in saltwater taffy and it gives that beautiful shimmer, adds a little bit of pink, extra pink to it as well. And as you can see it's quite a bold kind of colour that is going on there but I'm not worried about that because I know that I was going to get the bright colour down first and then mute it back using modelling paste. As you can see here I just add it all over um, the painted area and a bit off from the sides as well. And then as well as that I will come back in again in a minute and when it's all dry I add some white gesso on top as well. So this is my fussy cutting. I'm really bad at fussy cutting. I avoid it <laughs> all costs. Um, I do, however, have these wonderful scissors, which um, they work really well. They, they're very sharp. They're very um, fine tipped as well. So I tend to make less mistakes with those, but I'm just really not very good at it. So I don't tend to do it very often. Um, but yeah, I would recommend these scissors and I think just lots of practice, which maybe if I practice more, I'd be better at it, but I don't. So there we go. But don't worry, you will see some more examples from the other girls over at UK Scrap Addicts that are way better at it and probably have some great tips for you as well. So make sure you are subscribed so you can check out the other videos. So now I'm taking this Vicky Booten sponge. I love this sponge. I'm going to go and try and hunt out the equivalent just in my local pound shops and things to see if I can find any that are similar because I love the effect I got using this. And as you can see, I did cut out some of it, otherwise this video would be very long. All I've done is added lots of white gesso, just dabbed over the top, and it mutes down the colours till they're pretty much the exact colours from my uh, pattern paper. So now I'm happy with that. It also, because it's gesso, means that the paper's not just going to warp loads from it as well. And now I've got my picture, which is my friend's little girl, Bo. And so I'm gifting this one and um, this layer. I'm going to add a frame and whatnot. So I'm just going to add some layers of paper and ruffle up the edges, add loads of texture because my background's already got lots of texture as well. And then I'll add a load of embellishments on the top as well. So here I'm just using some cheesecloth and um, all I do is lay it down. A lot of it will get covered up but that's the way it goes with mixed media and building up um, layers and layers of things. The overall effect looks really um, interesting if you do layer up lots and lots of things underneath even if they're just peeking out. And so I've got the cheesecloth down there or gauze depending where you're from, cool different things and I'm just layering up now some gel medium which is the kind of adhesive 
um, that's really strong. And then I'm layering up the brown is just foam, cheap foam from Hobbycraft in the children's section. And that will just add an extra bit of um, dimension to my photo cluster as well so that it stands out nicely when I add my more three-dimensional um, embellishments later on as well. Now I'm adding an extra layer. I want to add in some of the bluey green colour. It's in the leaves on the paper and quite a few of the embellishments and flowers that came in this kit had the um, this colour as well as the lace so I'm just making sure that's all ties in together and now again I'm just using foam tape um, foam and um, the gel medium just to layer all these bits up together and I'm not doing it very evenly just getting it so that the papers peek out here and there and I'm just putting that modelling paste um, jar just to hold it down until it adheres now I have this cute little embellishment, it's like a scribbly circle and I think this is by the Scrap Lab, it came in the kit as well but I think you can get these separately from her shop so if I can I will link this as well and then these butterflies are from the kit, they were flat and all I did was just push up the wings to make them a little bit more three dimensional and added them on with more, sorry if you heard a horn hooting outside there um, and just added them on with more gel. I also added that doily there. I just um, put a little bit of white ink on it just to mute down the colour slightly because it was quite bright and the other greeny aquary colours were a little less um, bright than that so I wanted just to mute it down. And because I'm using rose gold for my title I add them glitter thickers as well. So I've got a combination of the two so I replaced the loved with glitter thickers so it matches in. And so I'm just using that coppery rose gold coloured um, ink around the edge again just to tie everything in together. And now it's just a matter of me adding on loads of flowers. Again I'm using my gel medium to adhere these down and I'm just um, creating clusters on top of my mixed media. So the mixed media peeks out from behind it but I'm just kind of using it as a guide and I'm using them in aquas and peaches and pinks all the colours that go quite well. I also added a tag on the side there just with a bit of seam binding by Crafty Ribbons. And it's basically the rest of the video is pretty much me just adding lots and lots of flowers down here and there. Um, I add the larger ones towards the photo and then I scatter the smaller ones out towards the edge. And then I do add a few around that tag there as well just to frame that edge there. Now I am adding a few peach ones, as you can see I've already laid them down. I felt like I needed more peach in there because um, there seemed to be a gap between the pink and the aqua and I thought that would work quite well. Just adding a little bit more of that ink as, as well there. Here's my um, larger peach ones. felt like there were a few gaps here and there. I also used some rainbow resins. Again, I will link that shop as well. These are all UK supplies that I use um, and I just add a few pretty little gems here and there. Unfortunately my head was in the way for most of them but you get the idea. I literally use my gel medium for pretty much everything I put down and now I'm just using a T-square ruler just to make sure that my um, title is straight because this is going to be gifted so for my own things I'm not that bothered but I thought I'd try and make it nice and straight <laughs> seeing as it's going to be gifted to someone else and a finishing touch here I just add some Nouveau drops in the crystal ones which um, dry slightly see-through with just a hint of the colour that they are so I went with some pink and blue ones and I'm just dotting them here and there all around the edge I'm doing this rather than using sequins because I just didn't think the sequins would show up that well. I didn't want to spend it ages putting sequins down that would kind of blend into my mixed media. And I just thought just some little dots would be a nice little addition there. And that is me done. Oh, and I did uh, stick down my fussy cut words with the gel medium as well so I could nudge them around into place. And that is it. 
Uh, thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a great day. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will leave my personal channel be below and you can um, subscribe to me there as well. So yes, here's some close-ups and I hope you all have a go at fussy cutting. Bye!